Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to understand what are the options available for a customer while customer is planning to use SAP. Let's say you are a customer, you want to use SAP. So when you go to the SAP, SAP has two offering for you. One, either you can choose SAP which runs on on-premise Another you can choose SAP which runs on cloud. So in today's video, I am going to focus on cloud. <coughs> in cloud also you have two options. One is known as a private cloud. Another is known as a public cloud. Both has its advantage and disadvantage. We will be understanding each one of them. So private cloud is also known as a rise with SAP. And this day, these words are very no, this these words are buzzing here and there. It's very difficult to understand. That's the reason I plan this video for you to clear any kind of doubt re regarding this kind of terminology. So private cloud is also known as a rise with SAP. Public cloud is known as a grow with SAP. Now who can use private cloud or rise with SAP? This is basically meant for larger organization who want to have more customization, more development, who have more money to maintain their own servers, they can go for private cloud. On the other hand, public cloud, very small company or mid-sized company who doesn't want to do much customization, whose business process is very standard, where SAP does all the update, upgrade, customer doesn't have money to maintain their own data centers, then they can go for public cloud. So public cloud is basically used for the mid and small size organization, whereas private cloud is used for larger uh, organization private cloud will have more data security it doesn't mean that public cloud will not have even public cloud will also have the data security so now here this is what it is given grow with SAP and rise with SAP so grow with SAP will have uh, public cloud this is meant for Greenfield implementation Rise with SAP has two options one a private cloud it can be used from Greenfield and Brownfield let's say you are in ECC you, you are using you want to come to the uh, private cloud it is possible then there is something called two tire ERP scenario which is in the public cloud there is one more option let's say some process you want to use for private cloud some of some of the portion of your whole ERP you want to use as a uh, public cloud is also possible with right with SAP now there are some advantage and disadvantage there are some offerings and uh, and an additional premium price you have to pay while using so let's say here when you go for grow with SAP, that is your uh, public cloud. If you use the, uh, if you take the base service, if you pay price and take the base service, basic feature of the product, let's say. So whichever article, those are available. If you pay the premium price, you'll get this tick mark additional feature, you'll get it. So based on your requirement, you have to choose either you have to go for the basic feature or you have to go for the premium feature. Okay, so basic feature is best for small and mid-size organization uh, who wants to pay a lower price. Okay, they can go for the base price. Now premium service they can take generally mid-size company can take it will be little costly but it will give additional feature uh, like BTP SAP analysis cloud planning and many more other feature it 
will be available concur this and all feature will be available in the in the your premium service so you can observe it what are the feature it is given also here accordingly you can choose it similarly here in the private cloud you have three option base premium and premium plus based on your option based on your requirement you can choose which you want let's say cash management is your requirement then you have to use the premium plus service then only you can get the cash management service receiver management you have to use please go for the this uh, premium plus service so this i wanted to make you clear that depending on your need you can use either private cloud or public cloud and these are the terminologies which are highly used and you may be getting confused so private cloud is known as a rise with sap public cloud is known as a grow with sap this is based on my understanding okay you have to for any detail please connect to sap this is purely based on my understanding i am trying to say you thank you so much i am not responsible for any features or any functionality of product thank you so much